so i'm actually putting this video out there for people who actually want to go to south africa i mean if ever you planning on going to south africa these are a few things that will actually help you to know what to expect before you get into the country so yes getting straight into it do not apologize in the usual way okay and this might sound a bit strange and it might also vary depending on the background and the culture and all that because south africa's culture is way different from i mean the west african culture and i think it will also varies depending on where you also come from especially with the east african countries and all that but here in west africa if someone offends you or if you need to apologize to someone we normally apologize like this okay this is how we apologize in in ghana and i think it's the same also in nigeria so if someone offends you and you want to say sorry here we say um me paucho, like i'm sorry please my apologies and i think it's also the same in nigeria but in south africa please do not do that okay we do not apologize like this in south africa okay i know you don't know yeah i understand that is why you need to subscribe to the channel because i'm helping you right now so yeah um you do not greet like this in south africa in south africa if you do something wrong and you want to apologize to someone you go the other way around so it's like this so um i'm, I'm very sorry man I'm, it will never happen again like hey but i'm very very sorry what something like that don't go like this this actually means something else so if you go like this it actually means you are asking for sex so that it's, it's, it's something on its own it doesn't mean sorry the next tip is do not walk whilst pressing phones and i know this can also be a similar thing in other countries as well especially in ghana you can walk pressing your phone but then when you are in a public taxi you have to be very careful when you are pressing your phone I don't know why that is the case because walking was supposed to be more dangerous but even though i've been hearing stories of people walking and then um some guys coming to them getting their phones and all that sometimes when you're in a car that is where the major problem is because if you are sitting close to the window someone can just come and evaluate so yeah that it actually happens like snatching of phones it's very common these days in ghana but in sa I think majority of the phone that are being taken, it normally happens when people are walking. I, I don't think it actually happens in the public taxi because obviously when it happens in a taxi, there is high chances that the driver might uh, make a U-turn and go and finish the guy. <laughs> so go South Africa, sorry, sorry. In South Africa, we do not walk. Well, you can do depending on your environment, where you actually live and all that. But in most places, you don't have to be walking, pressing phone, especially go Mamelodi, Shoshankuvi, Atrijvili, Alexandra, Soweto, one of those townships. Please, if ever you know that you're going to South Africa and maybe the person that you're visiting or whoever you're going to stays in such locations, try as much as possible not to be pressing your phone. Well, you can press your phone when you see that you're in a cool, I mean, uh, secured place but on a normal you don't have to be pressing phones because in south africa it's 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 very easy for you to get your phone taken okay two guys or even a single guy can just bump to you and they will ask for your phone instantly and you need to give it out and people will be around but nothing is going to happen hey they, they care about their lives so when it's happening like that they don't even come close baba so always make sure your phone is in your pocket or i mean just be safe with it but don't be walking go <laughs> whatsapp axa why how are you that hey bye bye to end in tears man the next one is you have to get used to some of the food okay you have to abandon you know sometimes we get so used to our local dish sometimes we get used to the food that we eat uh, whether being zimbabwe ghana i mean even in zimbabwe the food is kind of similar to SA. I think Zim, Lesotho, uh, Gogai, Mozambique, they got similar food. But then in the West African side and East, I think, yeah, the food is kind of different. So in Ghana, you can get a whole bunch of food. Same applies to Nigeria and other countries as well. But here you can get jollof, yam, uh, plantain, like bangkung fufu, emutu, like a whole bunch of food. When I go out right now, 
there's a whole lot of food that i can actually buy up choose from so here in south africa you are very much let me say limited okay i think with the type of food that we have in ghana nigeria and other countries it's actually more compared to south africa so in south africa the food that you actually get on the street is normally quarter which some call it spatula it's actually a local beggar so it's a bread with chips inside and some other nice stuff as well with like it's nice you you will enjoy it don't worry so you do get the quarter and then i think uh there is also pap which pap is more like in ghana it's more like bengku so it's it's made out of uh, mili mil maize yeah so it's it's kind of similar but then the taste is different and you also get rice which the main rice there is not the main rice in Ghana the rice is a bit different from the west african ones i mean their rice is a bit bigger thicker and it needs a lot of water and like you 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 will know when you get there but then the food in south africa is very very much limited okay so if you are used to fufu bengu and all those i mean starchy food from your home in south africa you have to cut it off because there you are very much limited you only have to be getting used to the food that is available and mostly most of the time i think 85% of the time you be eating pap so pap is the most common food in sa and yeah everywhere you go you it's skip pap baba <laughs> it's pap you eat pap until you <laughs> you become muscular you become buff <laughs> i want to brog less <laughs> that man who go the wwe that guy in wwe mm. you chow pap you become buff mm. so pap is very very it's common like that's the main food there and they also have quarter spatula which i mentioned so there's also rice but rice i don't they don't actually consume rice that much but it's there so you can also i mean get yourself some rice and all that but you should know that food is very much limited cuz out of in south africa so if you are very much used to the food that you eat at home then i think you won't be able to survive or stay in south africa some people every weekend they need fufu every sunday just do, 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 do. they can't even stay without fufu there <laughs> you will learn the hard way <laughs> the next thing is in south africa you always need to lock your door just give me a moment let me wipe my face once again in south africa you always need to get your door locked yes it's it's a must it's it's something that needs to be done so i'm actually the kind of person that I've, I've, like i said in the first video i've actually stayed in majority of the places let me not say majority but most places and i've been to most places as well and with my experience every time you come out and go in you need to lock it a must so if you are coming out you lock going in you lock and you see here in west africa our even the fence the the the, the gate is kind of different because we hardly some of the let me some of the places don't even have a fence in and order but in sa you it, like the, the houses already got the fence with but again the remote keys and all that that locks in and out so security every time you go out you need to lock every time you go in you need it's not like here in west africa or i don't know wherever you can just go out i heard even in a way singapore yeah singapore or somewhere you can just go out with your door open nothing will happen mm -mm, not in sa it, mm -mm, it's not it has never happened don't even try it every time you are going out lock coming in lock but even if you want to go and give a but again biscuit to someone one kill one kilometer is even is even too far but like just three steps away lock because anything can happen it it you need to lock locking is the must i've even gotten so used to locking now i i came to ghana now i've been locking <laughs> if i come in i lock go in i lock <laughs> My mom came last time. It's like, ah, can't they, when, why are you always locking door? You think you're in South Africa? I'm like, hey, hey. Ah, ah, you don't know. <laughs> Let me lock my door. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> Anytime you go out, you must lock. You go in, lock. Just keep locking, lock, lock. Because even when it's locked, 
<laughs> things are happening compared to is not lock hey my bra <laughs> to end in tears man hey <laughs> anyway so um like i said it's it's not everywhere that that i mean that shit happens because i've actually been in um centurion centurion uh something run back you see those places you don't experience such okay uh, you can i think especially in the estates you can leave your doors open go and buy something not not like open but then you can choose not to lock and yeah especially in the, those estates estate, you you should be fine but in the location eh you see someone living in a mukuku you don't have anything you only have 21 inch samsung or jvc with a uh, iron and then you go out you 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 don't lock eh <laughs> <laughs> just just in two minutes two minutes is too much <laughs> one minute one seconds you come hey <laughs> gone <laughs> to end in tears hey there we don't play baba you must be careful hey always your eyes must be open because immediately you sleep mm. but anyway like i said it's not everywhere and it, it's not something that like but it's something that i thought you sh you should know you should always lock all right just keep locking lock until you get tired keep, keep locking <laughs> don't give up <laughs> locking is good <laughs> so the last one that i'd like you guys to know is in sa we actually pay rent monthly all right so compared to ghana south africa no 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 compared to ghana nigeria uh where else i think most places most countries they pay rent yearly two years some of them are even had three years yeah so they pay like in a long term but in south africa we don't do that there yeah uh, i think it's only few maybe how like how many percent maybe ah, seven percent out of hundred yeah because in sa I've, I, I, I haven't actually heard someone like talk about such yeah actually personally i haven't heard such but in sa we pay rent monthly yeah once it's 28 29 30 30 it means you want your landlord to come there and <laughs> mishandle you <laughs> 31st i they are throwing you out <laughs> so from 28 yeah down there you must start paying so that is something that you need to and i know this is kind of weird because in most places i don't even know about m much places how they actually operate but in ghana nigeria you pay like way ahead but in sa you need to be paying like every month so yeah this is the little update for today and i actually made this because i did the first one which i didn't even think where that video was gonna get even 10 views but i think now it's somewhere more than 10 hey, people are getting millions and i'm here getting 10 here <laughs> but anyway yeah so that video actually did okay so i decided to put a part two out there but let me know if this also does a bit better then i mean i might also put a part three out there so yeah if you are new on the channel i mean put put it in a link i mean drop it in the comment section let me know if you're also going to south africa drop it in a comment section and if you're south african as well shout out shout out to you all um do not forget like subscribe i mean it's all fun we having fun here if you are new hit on the subscribe button like this video as well and i guess i'll see you in my next video stay safe peace <laughs> Da 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 da